while since we connected. If you're new here, my name is Renee Mullinsless. I am a self-love coach here at Modern New Wise Women. And today I have a very important message for you about slowing down so that you don't lose yourself. Look, a lot of us have very full plates, very busy lives, all kinds of responsibilities. We're always moving from thing to thing and task to task, event to event, social weekend to social weekend. It sometimes feels like we don't have a single part of our life that isn't scheduled or planned. And while planning is very helpful, right, it helps us to be able to manage all of the responsibilities that we have and everything that we need to do as efficiently as we can so as to not be stressed or to minimize stress. The thing about having things scheduled constantly, having something planned always, always being busy, always doing something, always going somewhere, is that it can have us really lose touch with ourselves. It's just too much happening, too much happening outside of ourselves with not enough intentional reflection and pause for our internal selves. And when we are disconnected from our internal selves, this is when and where we lose ourselves. This is where we start to have this experience of, I'm doing so many things for so many people or I'm making things happen and I'm like, doing, 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 but the being, the energy, the essence, the truth of who you are starts to slip away. And this is when all kinds of things start to show up, right? We start to manifest things like headaches or maybe inflammation or maybe sleepless nights, or maybe there's a little bit of anxiousness or panic. You may even start to notice that things shift in other areas of life, not just health, but maybe it can be in your business or in your finances. Remember, everything outside of ourselves is a reflection of what's happening inside of ourselves, yeah? So this video is really an opportunity for you to pause, for you to look at what you've been doing. Have you been hustling? Have you been moving and shaking and doing and doing and doing? And listen, it may be that this is the time of year or, the season or it's a time of transition, like there's something happening. And so you've not had the space or the opportunity to really slow down and, and I'm letting you know that between now and sometime over the next few days or weeks, you gotta look at this because moving at that pace is not sustainable. We all need self-care. We all need rest. And I'm going to say it, okay? If you are someone that you want to live an abundant life, a fruitful life, a life that brings you pleasure, you cannot treat yourself like a workhorse or a mule. You cannot. You got to be able to look at things differently, schedule things differently, prioritize things differently. You gotta be able to figure out how to have yourself much, much higher up on the list, if not at the top. And yes, this includes when you have other people in your life that you love, because remember, your love for yourself is the foundation. It is the container for every other love relationship that you have in your life. So if you wanna show up for your kids, if you want to show up for your partner, if you want to be that leader for your team and business, you have got to, absolutely got to, make sure that you take care of your health and your well being, that you take care of your sense of happiness because only you are responsible for that. This is something that's so confusing for many people because they think that they have to put everyone else first and then they come last. And I feel like people have done that for quite some time. And it's part of the reason why we're having a lot of the problems that we're having now is because people have never learned how to take care of themselves while taking care of others. That is a skill set. And that is part of what I'm here to teach you. Okay. 
there is enough room in life for us to take care of ourselves and be excellent parents, excellent leaders for our teams, to have the kind of impact that we want to have in the world, it is possible. But you have got to step out of these old mindsets and these old ways of thinking. Do not lose yourself in the rat race, in the haze. That is all for this message. Until we see each other in the next one, be well, my friends. Don't forget, we are in this together. Thank you.